Good morning. Welcome to our daily thought. I'm just going to come and sit in our garden on this beautiful morning. We've got some new benches at Bethel, which you can see that I'm sat on. And you can see a couple more down there as we look to revamp a little bit of this uh, back garden. But yeah, what a beautiful morning we are on. Can't beat the opportunity to come and sit outside when the sun is shining like this. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I think we're on to day 105 of our daily thoughts. And I know there's a few people that have watched every single one. Good on you. Um, sorry, I'm a couple of minutes late today. Basically, there's three pastors that like to do this daily thought reading each day. And um, sometimes two out of the, the three who shall not be named. I'll give you a clue. It's not me. Uh, like to just go off on one on a bit of a tangent and read on further than they meant to. So on Saturday, John read further than was meant to be read and then yesterday Meg did the same. So that means I've had to kind of work out where we're at so that we aim to wrap up Luke chapter 18 by the end of this week. That's the plan. But I'm going to recap a little bit of what Meg read yesterday. Um, which is the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector from Luke 18 verses 9 through to 14. So I'm going to read that and then share a couple of thoughts about it. If you're on live, say hello and uh, we'll go from there. So Luke 18 verse 9 through to 14, it says this, To some who were confident of their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. A great message there for, for all of us to see how important it is to humble ourselves before God, not to be proud, not to, not to pray things like, thank you that I am not that person, thank you that I don't do what they do, but ultimately we should be looking to God and, and saying to him um, that we're sorry for what we do, we're sorry for who we are, we're sorry for the mistakes that we make, not comparing ourselves to others that we may see as worse than us or, or worse sinners. Ultimately, we're all sinners. We all fall short of God's glory. We all make mistakes. We all do things that we shouldn't. And the, the aim is obviously to do our best to live a holy life. And in this little story there, we see an example of two people that come before God to pray. One of whom is boasting in their prayers of, of almost how good they are rather than how good God is and thanking God that they're not as, as bad as the other people. And the other one is basically humbling themselves before God and saying, I am a sinner. I am a, a mess. I've messed my life up and have mercy on me. And um, just a, a little short passage there, but one to encourage us to make sure that when we're praying to God, we're, we're opening up our hearts to him and making sure that when we talk to him, we're not doing so from a, from a mindset of, oh, at least I'm not as bad as that person or that person. Sin is sin. Whatever we do, if it's, if it's falling short of God's glory, it's sin. And uh, although there are different consequences to sin, um, the moment that we do something that is wrong, we become imperfect and God is perfect. So when we come before him, we need to say sorry and not compare ourselves to others. And I think a uh, slight tangent, but uh, uh, similar to that kind of thing, we do compare ourselves to others far too much. And God made you how he meant to make you. You're unique. You're who you're meant to be. And he knows when you do well, he knows when you don't do well but he wants you to talk to him, but he doesn't want you to compare yourself to others. Sometimes we think we might be better than others as the, as the Pharisee did in this story, but other times we might think we're not as good as other people and God doesn't want us to do either. He just wants us to come before him, humble ourselves and say, Lord, I'm sorry for the things that I do that aren't right. Help me to live a, a life that makes you proud and help me to do something today that is good and loving and kind and, and that, that, yeah, that carries your love everywhere that I go. So I hope that's blessed you today. Have a great day and we shall see you tomorrow with our next Daily Thought. Join us at 12 o'clock today live on Facebook for a short time of prayer. Um, and yes, other than that, have a great day.